King Solomon tells us, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. As we seek this wisdom, let us turn to the church fathers and say, Ava, give me a word that I may live. In the previous episode, we saw the importance of forgiving one another. And yet, we find ourselves often struggling to do so. In his homilies on Saul and David, St. John Chrysostom meditates on the righteousness of King David and how loving and forgiving he was. And as King Saul was chasing him and trying to kill him, David had a forgiving heart. St. John gives us a few tips on how we may imitate King David. The first one is when King David had the opportunity to kill Saul in the cave. He says, His heart smote him for cutting off the corner of the cloak. And he said to his man, The Lord forbid. What is the meaning of the Lord forbid? It means, May the Lord be merciful to me. And if I actually had the intention, may God not allow me to act on it, nor permit me to proceed to sin. In other words, since he knew sound values of this are almost beyond human nature and require grace from on high, and that he was halfway to committing murder, he then prays that God would keep his hand unstained. Then he continues later, It was not without God's influence, you see, that he succeeded in prevailing over those frenzied men. The grace of God was found on the inspired man's lips. St. John Chrysostom here sets the example of King David before our eyes that we may imitate him. Although forgiving someone who treats us harshly, forgiving an enemy, forgiving someone who hurt us very much, is very, very difficult and as St. John Chrysostom says here, may even be beyond human nature, there is a grace from above that can help us. But we need to pray, we need to ask for this grace as King David did. We need to plead with God when someone hurts us, that he may grant us a loving and forgiving heart, that we may fulfill the commandment to bless our enemies and not curse them, to love our enemies and not seek vengeance. And then another advice St. John Chrysostom tells us in those homilies, he says, when you see your enemy or have him in mind, forget all those harmful things you suffered or were told. If they still come to mind, put it down to the devil. Recollect, rather, whether he ever said or did anything useful to you. If you turn to these over in your mind, you will promptly dissolve your enmity. And so St. John today reminds us of two tools, two things that can help us in forgiving one another. A very important one is to turn to prayer and ask God for grace, as King David did, and to always think of our enemy not as the person doing harm, but rather as being pushed by the devil. And so instead of focusing on the evil the person did, to focus on their virtues and the good in their lives. And we will find that the enmity is dissolved. And when this enmity is dissolved, we will be able to fulfill what St. Isaac advises in homily 51, saying, Let yourself be persecuted, but do not persecute others. Be crucified, but do not crucify others. Be slandered but do not slander others.